stop spending your rare coins. Here is what they're really worth. Let's hop right into this video, guys. So here we have a 2023 one cent shield penny that sold on eBay recently for $64. Now, can you imagine getting a handful of pennies and being able to sell them online for 64 bucks each? Well, that's what this person's definitely doing on eBay. Now look very closely at these pictures. As you can see, the initials of the engraver and designer are on this coin, which is VDB, Victor David Brenner. Now there is a mint error or variety on these coins where there is an extra V after those initials. For whatever reason, they are bringing a crazy amount of money right now on eBay. That's why we recommend if you come across any of these coins, if you want, it is absolutely up to you, sell them online for a good amount of money. This is not any sort of advice, but the market on these could go up or down. In our opinion, we don't think it's that cool to be worth this much money, but at the end of the day, the market is the market. Again, guys, $64 for this VDB V Air coin. Here we have a 2000p Cheerios Sacagawea dollar coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 68 that sold for $34,500. So most of the time, these Sacagawea dollar coins are not worth good money, unless you have a 2000p that was found in a Cheerios box back in the day. Now there is a distinguishing factor on these coins you gotta pay close attention to, and that area is on the back of the coin, on the tail feathers of this bird. So on a normally issued coin, they are not gonna have any of these lines, but on a Cheerios Sacagawea dollar coin, you're gonna have these diagonal lines. We're gonna show a quick diagram showing the difference. Now if you have one of these coins, we recommend getting it certified, or at least looked at by a few coin experts. That's what we recommend, because you don't wanna be spending these coins or giving them away at a low value if in reality they're worth a whole lot more money, just like this one that sold for $34,500. $78,000 for this 2001D Lincoln cent coin graded by PCGS at a mint state, 65 red. So really quick, these coins can come either red, red, brown, or brown, depending on the type of planchet that they were struck on and environmental conditions where the coins will change color over time. The big reason why this coin sold for $78,000 is because the front of this 2001D Lincoln cent looks normal, but on the back, you'll very quickly see that this coin was muled with a Roosevelt dime reverse. This coin was graded by PCGS at a mint state 65 and it sold for $78,000. $41,975 for this Washington quarter graded by NGC at a mint state 66. Now this coin is pretty unique in the sense that everything looks relatively normal on the back of this coin until you flip it over and realize that this coin actually has two reverse dies. That's right, this coin has no face. It has two reverses. This is an incredibly unique error and it is very, very rare and hard to come by a coin like this. There are people out there that will see a video like ours and try to replicate this error by splicing two coins in half. We recommend against doing that as you do not want to be defacing any US federal currency. On top of that, if you try to get it graded by a company like NGC or PCGS, they would very quickly be able to determine that the coin was indeed altered and not an authentic coin. What you need to know here, guys, is that if you find a coin like this, you've hit the mother load because 41900 $175 for this Washington quarter with two reverse dies. If you enjoyed this video, then smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.